Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to try out the new Morphe 2 collection. So you guys want to see what my thoughts are on this, well then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so about a couple weeks ago, Morphe dropped the information. They were coming out with their second brand called Morphe 2. And the D'Amelio sisters, and if you guys don't know who they are, they are like literally the world's most famous TikTokers, but they are the face and the ambassadors for Morphe 2. And when I first saw that, I was like, damn, get it guys. Like these girls literally have marketed themselves in a way that I think it's freaking fantastic. Like, I know that Charlie's 16 and she has like 77 million followers on TikTok. I know her sister Dixie, I think she's like 18 or 19 and I think she's like 30 to 40 million. I'm not sure. All I know is that these girls make freaking bank. They grew in one year and you just see their faces everywhere. They're the face of Hollister jeans. They have like a nail collection that's out right now and they are the face of Morphe too. So when I saw they're rolling out this collection, I know a lot of people are like, ew, why are these girls representing Morphe too? Why do they have their face on makeup? They're definitely not into makeup, but Looking at this collection, I can understand why they're the ambassadors of makeup because this is all geared towards like the Gen X's. <laughs> I think that's right, right? Gen Z's before me, I'm millennial, Gen X's. These are like, these are geared towards like the teenagers of our time. And I mean, cause I know that for me as a teenager, I would have wanted something like this because when I was a teenager, I wore like that color pop, little compact, like pressed foundation, powder foundation, that was two shades too dark for me, but that is what I used to wear back in the day. I didn't wear any liquid foundation, or if I did, it was like that Maybelline Dream Mousse foundation, that really weird stuff, but it would've been really nice to have something like this. Now this is actually gonna be a hint, hint skin tint. It is a sheer to medium coverage foundation, and then they also have some lip glosses, they have some eye toppers along with like a cheek highlight glow situation that we're gonna dive all into. But I know a lot of people are against them because they are TikTokers, they don't wear that much makeup. And I know that I can understand what people's frustrations are because there are a lot of celebrities right now that are rolling out with makeup and or skincare that some people have really strong feelings for. I know that like people don't really care for the fact that Selena Gomez is having her rare beauty line come out. I know that Alicia Keys is having a skincare line come out, at least a skincare. But then I saw that Addison Rae is having a Whole makeup collection come out too like her own like item beauty and that one i'm kind of against because she just became famous this you know this past year as well she's been around for only a year and she grew phenomenally which i'm like good for you that's amazing but she's rolling out her own skincare line as or her she's rolling out her own makeup line like she's saying that this is her brand bitch I'm sorry, but I know that it takes years to create a makeup launch, makeup brand. There's no way you rolled out with something within a year when you just got famous a year ago. No freaking way. So I, I get people's frustrations, but I really do like the fact that Amelia Sisters didn't create this. They're just the brand ambassador. They have their face on it. So I think it's a great way for Morphe to market themselves for Morphe 2 is to why not have like the most famous TikTokers who are teens themselves show their face on this new makeup line. So. Right here we have this Morphe 2. This is the Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is in the shade Hint of Beige, which is a light medium with neutral undertones because I am neutral. And it says that this is a lightweight, breathable formula that hydrates, soothes, and blurs. It's non-comogenic and it's vegan. So it says to shake gently, start with one or two drops and build up to the desired level of coverage. It says you can use the brush, sponge, and or your fingers, which I think we should definitely give that a try. And on their website, it does retail for $17 and you can pick up 20 shades or 20 shades in this collection. Then they also have the Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss. Now I actually skipped out on that, it's $12, but it's just a clear gloss that you put on right here to give yourself a nice little shine. You could put on your eyelids to give a nice little shine. You can kind of put it over like everywhere. It's like multi-purpose. Multi but I literally watched reviews on it. 
and people are pretty much saying that it is just like a clear gloss that, that just sticks to your skin and like your hair gets stuck on it. It's like I could just take this lip gloss, put it right here and say, boom, this is a highlight. And just, it, 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 that, that to me was like a gimmick. So I completely passed on that right there as well. I did actually pick up three of these jelly eye shimmers right here. They do retail for $10 a piece. There are six shades in this collection. I got the Bright Idea, which is a, like a beautiful lavender purple. I got this really cool rose gold sunshine. And then I picked up Starry Sky right here which is like this blue color um they also have glossified lip glosses they have six shades in that range as well they do retail for nine dollars i only picked up two these are two that i could find myself picking up towards the most and then they also have a sweep a sweep life brush collection that retails for 24 dollars. and i passed on that because i don't need any more morphe brushes i just i truly don't they're just i have so many i didn't need it and then they also have a wonder tint cheek and lip mousse I passed on that as well because of the fact that, yes, it's $12, but I really, really don't like any formula that you can do cheek and lip combination. Like, I just never been a big fan of that. So I didn't want to buy that and be completely biased towards it. No, I wouldn't like it. So I just to spare the review and not be so negative, I want to just, I don't know, not buy something I knew I just wouldn't get a use out of. So we're gonna go ahead and just get going. I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna start with our normal routine. So we're gonna start off with the Becca Evermac Poreless Perfecting Primer. This is my holy, holy grail primer. If you are very, very oily like myself, this is my go-to. I'm only gonna put this in my T-zone because I do get just a little bit dry at the very bottom of my cheeks, at the top of my forehead. I can get a little bit of dry patches right there, even though I'm extremely oily. I don't know. And then on the rest of the face, we're gonna take my Gin & Co Miracle Moonshine Cream Primer. This is again, another holy grail of mine. I've already gone through my first tube or my first, whatever this is called, thingamabab. <laughs> and uh, I'm on my second one, I'm already halfway through. I'm gonna place it on the rest of the spots so I didn't put that down that primer. So I know this past Saturday was the end of my No Waste Wednesday for July. I actually did pick a winner, but I did it a little differently this time. I um, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who entered my 30K giveaway. So I did do a random draw for my No Waste Wednesday and the person whose name came up, I laughed because I actually conveniently enough had their address because whenever I asked you guys for my 30K giveaway, if you guys can send me your addresses so I can do 100 uh, thank you cards, the person who won actually had their address already there for me because I sent them a thank you card not too long ago. So they have no idea they won. I'm not gonna tell the person that they won. I'm gonna wait until the person actually gets the package and then I'll announce who the winner was because I don't know, I just thought that, why not surprise somebody? Why not make somebody's day and just have a package appear at their door without them having any clue that they won my No Waste Wednesday? I don't know, I just thought it'd be a really cool surprise. Like, kind of like when I randomly get like a PR box here and there in the mail from random companies. So I'm like, ah, like, oh my God. Okay, like, let me show you. For example, I got this in the mail from Pixie. I gotta kind of cover my address. I got get this in the mail from Pixie, but they sent me the Escape to Let's Glow. And they sent me this really big PR package. Look how freaking cool this PR package is. But what's so freaking cool is this has my name. I literally was in tears when I opened this up because they have my name right here. This is a tote bag that has my name embroidered in it. Like how freaking cool is that? I was so blown away when I got this PR package this past weekend. I was like, I could not believe that Pixie did this for me. So. I thought that was so cool because I had no, I had no idea that it was coming in. So I thought, how cool would it be if if I do that for the winner? I don't tell them that they won. I just randomly send that package to them. They're gonna get it and they're gonna be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like I just, I feel like that'd be really cool. I don't know, just the way to spice things up. But all right, so now this is all set and done. I'm gonna try this two different ways. I don't really know if this is gonna work out for me personally. Um, I do, will say I do like the packaging. I think it's super cute. Um, I'm gonna try applying half of it with my beauty sponge. The other half, I'm gonna take a foundation brush and I'm kind of stipple it in to see which one looks better on the skin. But it said to take, it said to shake it up. It's very like watery sounding. And then it says to take a few drops. So on this side, we're gonna do the beauty blender. First off, this is like super duper runny. Y'all see that? Um, Okay, this definitely is a uh, heavily scented. It has a perfume smell, but I'm gonna lay it down right here. I wonder if I got a shade too light. Oh, 
don't actually think I got a perfect match actually. Now it's completely gone off my hand. My beauty sponge, which is damp, actually kind of absorbed it a little bit. So we're gonna try this again. I'm just gonna kind of pop it right there. It says you can apply it with your fingers. I'm kind of curious to see what happened if I do. This just feels so wrong. <laughs> you know, oh no, let me just blend that out. Now it says you can build it up to have the coverage that you want and I'm sure you can. I just want to know if there's a difference between using a beauty blender and using a brush for this type, this particular formula. I have not used a skin tint. I think I haven't used a skin tint since when I first started YouTube. I did a review of the It Cosmetics uh, Tinted Moisturizer Foundation. That, first off, I was on my way to work and I did that review and people were like, oh my God, you cursed in that video. You said the F word one too many times, you're trash. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, I'm trash. I will never curse again. And I, and I literally had stopped cursing for some time because I was like, oh my God, I'm so hated because I dropped a couple of F words and then... I don't know, I guess as time went on, I kind of just stopped caring. And granted, I don't like, I do I do drop them here and there, but not like I used to in the beginning. Sometimes I can't help if it comes out, especially if I'm really excited about a product or really hate a product, it just kind of comes out. So I'm just like, bitch, you know, but I was apparently really trashy. <laughs> but that was the last time I used any sort of skin tint at all. I surprisingly enough, like the way that it looks. And I think the reason why I like that first off, y'all see that difference in my like, Jesus. I think the reason why I like, like the way it looks is one that my face is freshly shaved. So it has no hair in it. So it's not gripping to anything. It's just showing my skin. But I feel like I, I feel like it just kind of makes my skin look really, really natural, which is what I like. Cause there are days that I just do not want to wear makeup whatsoever, especially if I'm just running to the store. Wearing a mask, I think is a bitch. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't like wearing makeup under mask because it really just gets my mask really, really dirty. So I don't really like wearing makeup underneath there. And, and I know a lot of people out there do. If I'm gonna wear any makeup, if I'm wearing a mask, I'm just gonna be doing just my brows and mascara. That's it. Um, but I feel like on days, like if I just want to go to the pool and I don't want to have like, red blotchy skin really have large pores i feel like this is definitely a way to go like that way it's just something that's so quick and easy you run right out the door and you don't have to feel like you have to have a full face of makeup on you could have something that just gives you just enough coverage where you don't look like you're dead and you look like you you uh try to care about your parents like just a little bit you know what i'm saying this is the silver brush from the a silver edition of bling on bring on the bling collection from bling brushes you guys already know how much i love the brushes although to be fair i really do hate applying any sort of uh, foundation with a foundation brush it's just never been something that i've been really into i just feel like it my, makes my face look really streaky and i just really don't like how it looks i don't know if the formula is just very kind of like runny or thin but man these products just my brush and my sponge just soak this product up so quickly I don't like how that looks. I'm gonna, yeah, no, nope. not for me. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so looking at my skin up close, that's so hard to believe that this is a sheer to medium coverage. I feel like my face looks pretty well covered. Honestly, I feel like it looks really, really nicely covered. I feel like I could still see a little bit of my skin underneath, but I like how it looks. Is it gonna be oily proof? Oh, I don't know, but let's go ahead and do the rest of my face before we get in the other products. We do have these jelly eye shimmers right here. They do retail for $10 a piece. I do have three different, I do have three shades right here. So I'm gonna swatch these for you. I would definitely say for them being $10, they are actually pretty decent size. Boing, boing, oh my God. I would have way too much fun with that, okay. So it's a really weird texture. It feels like I'm touching, um, like jello. It feels like I'm touching jello. What well, does the jelly shadow? Oh my god. Okay, so this is the shade Sunshine right there. These are very, very light. I mean, I get why people get these because you want to be able to have something where you can create a look out of it, but not, necess not necessarily have your face be completely full of makeup. These are definitely geared towards like the younger generation. You know, uh, I think they're called the Gen Xers. I could be wrong, but this is definitely geared towards the younger generation who really isn't into that much makeup or doesn't wear that much makeup. Uh, this is the shade Bright, Bright Idea. This is like this purple lavender shade. And as I'm rubbing my finger into it, it's actually kind of like getting a little wrinkly. I don't know, it's starting to look a little weird. But I really do like this color. It's just, it's getting weird. 
but this is the shade right here. It's gonna be a little bit lavender with gold reflex to it. Really, really pretty. Ooh, then we have this Starry Night one. This one's really pretty. It's a bit of blue and purple mixed in. That's a really pretty color. I hate that the more you rub your finger into it though, the more like this top layer goes away and it never starts to reveal that like weird layer to it. Like I'm scratching it even though I'm not. That's a little weird. But that's the shade right there. It's actually really pretty. All right, then for lip glosses, we have two different shades. We have the shade Flutter right here. And then the shade Mirror Mirror. So there are the two shades right there. You really can't tell much of a difference. They're pretty much the exact same thing. Um, oh my God, though. They smell like freaking coconut. Okay, so they smell like coconut and they taste a little bit like coconut, but they're not coconut. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna like kind of mix these shadows just a little bit. I'm gonna play with two of these ones today. So I'm gonna go in with this shade called Brighten Up. I'm gonna take it on my finger. I didn't put anything down on my eye because it's just supposed to be very, very simplistic makeup. Kind of like Florence by uh, Millie Bob Brown. That's what these are supposed to be very, very similar to. Wow, that is a really pretty color though. This is gonna be like a rose gold and it has a little bit of gold and purple reflex to it. That is super, super pretty. It's laying down very, very, very nicely and it's spreading very evenly with the finger. That is really pretty. I just, the jelly texture of it though is a little trippy, not gonna lie. That's really beautiful though, wow. I feel like you can mix that with so much. Okay, then I'm gonna just finish it off with the shade Starry Night because this is like such a really beautiful like blue purple. I just really wanna play with it. Like, wow, look at how beautiful that shade is. It's getting a little chunky. I don't know what that's about. Okay, I'm taking on the E7 brush. Let me pack that. Okay, that seems like it's gonna work out a little bit better. Okay, we are chunkity dunkity on the lids. Oh, we're just we're just gonna be playing with this on the lids today. Okay, alrighty. It makes it look like my skin is peeling off. That is so gross. Okay, so the way that this was advertised that you don't have to have like. A setting base underneath it. It's just supposed to be like a topper that you can just use by itself without having to use anything else underneath it. I'm beginning to feel like I was just mm, lied to a little bit because this is um, kind of gross. Show a little, show a little shimmer in one swipe. This unique bouncy formula easily delivers buildable dimension and dries down quickly with zero fallout. For a fresh spin on sparkle, wear alone to shine solo or, or layer with your favorite shadow for a shimmering boost. Okay. <laughs> okay, so one swipe. Let me circle this around. Again, one swipe. One swipe. Zero fallout. Yeah, right. This thing is coming off in chunks. All right, so we're gonna try on the other eye then. We're gonna try the shade Shun Sunshine. Maybe this will work better. Swirl around, one swipe. So I feel like that one worked out better, honestly. Um, it's just not as like vibrant and as pretty, but I definitely feel like it worked out better. <laughs> that was a waste of $10. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the mascara. I'm just gonna do something very basic today. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use the Tarte Surfer Curl right here. I actually really do like this mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my lashes, guys, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now that the eyes are done, I'm gonna use this Morphe 2. This is the Glassified Lip Oil, and this is gonna be the shade, um, this is in the flavor or shade Flutter. It has a little bit, I think, of like the deepest like tint to it. So wearing on the lips, it actually feels very, very hydrating. It feels pretty thick. Um, it feels like it's actually, you could just like, I could just feel it sitting. I can feel it sitting on my lips right now. It feels very, very thick. It feels like it's something that's actually gonna be drying up pretty soon. Like it's not gonna last very long. Tastes pretty good and it smells like coconut. So what are my thoughts on this collection right here? Um, I'm gonna be very, very honest. I didn't have the highest hopes going into it just because 
I felt like this type of collection is definitely geared towards a younger generation, someone who really isn't that into makeup, but still wants to have something on their face to make them look very fresh, like they're just kind of put together, very light, very easy. And that is something I think this, this collection is meant for. I'm the type of girl though that I really do like full coverage foundation. I like having a full face. Looking at it from a standpoint, taking a step back, I think this foundation right here, I actually like it. It is a skin tint, but you can build it to have medium coverage. It retails for $17. There are 20 shades in this collection and so far I really do like how it looks on the skin um, it definitely has mattified down it did oxidize down just a little bit so I think it looks really really nice I can see a little bit of like a little bit of redness popping through a little bit of imperfections but it just looks like my natural skin just my natural skin that has an even coverage to it and I really really do like that factor I can definitely see myself picking this up time and time and time again using it on the days that I want to have some sort of coverage but don't want to be a full face of makeup but just have it so that I can go out and not like have red pory face if you know what I'm saying like I can definitely see myself using that for this um I did not get the cheek tint and or that clear gloss just because I like I said I watched quite a few reviews before this product even launched and people were kind of like ah you know some were like this is amazing some people were like not worth your time and the people that i really follow and admire were like don't bother with it so i just knew to save my money um as for these jelly shadows right here one i do think the packaging of these are super cute super pretty i do like the whole cohesive thing together um i actually really like this one bright idea i feel like this one looks so pretty it's what i'm wearing in the inner corner and i think it blended out really really nicely it has such pigment to it it reminds me of like the uh, pea house right here from patrick star like the shimmer topper i think it reminds me very very much to it it does retail for ten dollars uh the, the texture of it is very very unique i mean it kind of like looks a little bumpy in use once you start to dig into it but i really do like it and i can see why people would definitely gravitate to this a lot because you can mix this with so many different things you can mix it with any sort of shadows that you guys have out there you could lay it on top of shadows you could wear it by itself i definitely think it's something that i would you know pick up time and time again um i think the starry night one as beautiful as i wanted it to be it definitely had its its problems it it's kind of chunky it says it's supposed to be one swipe we're not supposed to have any chunks to it but it made my skin look like it was falling off not really that pretty it's a beautiful beautiful cover like i think this is such a pretty color and i just wish it worked better for me i'm gonna give it a try again i'm trying to try to layering on top of his shadow see if it works better with the shadow i feel like i can enhance it more that way but by itself no I do not recommend it by itself. It was kind of a waste of $10. I spent literally $30 on three of these alone. Like, that's a lot of money for that. Um, as for the glosses or the glassified lip oil, I definitely feel like you can pass on that. Um, I'm already been sitting here just talking to you and I could already feel it drying off a little bit of my lips. It's not really staying on. It's not like it's a lip gloss. We're supposed to be hanging on your lips all day. It is a lip oil. So it does tend to wear itself off. It's going to hydrate your lips, but then eventually it's just going to kind of disappear into nothing, but your lips will still be really hydrated. So is it something that you need to go out and run and get? Absolutely not. Especially since if you guys want something really, really affordable, you guys can just go to the NYX aisle in any sort of drugstore. They have a wonderful, like freaking wonderful lip oil. It's their all one like butter lip oil it's like two or three bucks and i think it's so fantastic i have five of them in my collection alone because i really do love those lip oils but these are something that i definitely don't think it's like worth picking up as for morphe 2 i definitely feel like this type of makeup is geared towards younger kids or your towards a younger audience i don't think it's necessarily meant for someone of my age and the type of makeup style that i like but I feel like by putting the faces of the D'Amelio girls on here, they really, really sold the makeup very well. I mean, those girls can literally sell anything. Trust me, I would know, okay? Charlie has sold me on stuff before. I'm like, bitch, you're too pretty. <laughs> you're selling me on stuff that I shouldn't be buying because, you know, you're just freaking perfect and you're beautiful and you're 16. And I look at my body of a 30-year-old and I look at hers and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and Corey's like, you know, your body is 30. And I'm like, I am. I just want to look like that, you know. But um, I do think they have to be very, very smart by marketing these girls and putting them their face of this brand because I feel like it definitely is a great way to sell it. I think that if they were not the face of this, I don't necessarily know if I would have given it a try. I definitely wanted to try because, you know, well, they advertised it. And I was like, well, shit, they like it. I must like it too. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of those like gimmicks for me. But I mean, I do think that they were, this is a really, really smart business move, but this is a collection that I might not necessarily visit again. Foundation, yes. Everything else, I'm kind of like, ah, 
you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you gotta go run out and get it. Like, I feel like you can kind of pass on this collection in my personal opinion. So it's fun trying it. I'm glad I didn't get the whole collection because that would have been a little aggravating that I spent my money on stuff that I'm just kind of like, oh, it's great. <laughs> it just reminds me of like Claire's makeup a little bit, you know, it's just, not my favorite, but that's completely okay. That's completely okay. I really do like Morphe products. I think they make some fantastic products. And I think it's cool they tried something different. And I, you know, I gotta I gotta commend them for that. So it may not have been my favorite, but still gonna work out. It's still gonna work for somebody out there. So that's what matters. But um, yeah, I'm really glad that I gave this a try. And I will let you guys know what I think about the foundation in my video tomorrow because I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. I'll let you guys know how well it's set on my skin. If any oil seeps through, like I'll give you guys the whole rundown on that. But um. Yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every day, every other day, just depending. I pretty much do post like four to five times a week, honestly. Um, also, make sure you guys head on over to my other channels, R for Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful, adventurous, amazing fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. See curl surf. Um, <laughs> they do retail for ten peat. There are six shades in there. They, it is no. How should I word this? You know what? I should probably just go to Morphe 2's website, huh? It is like a light. It's a. It is a sheer to. Oh, I look so ghastly. I look so scary, and I have the nasty like foundation lips. Ugh. Make me up a dry day. Oh my god, I'm still recording. That's embarrassing.